if I could ask him one question. How the were you so fast? <laughs> I think for me, Senna is top of the F1 greats. All I know is that he is one of the best that's ever been in Formula One. Maybe some people wouldn't say first, but I think there's a lot of people that would, and I'm one of them. I think one thing that Senna knew was what it took to be a world champion. Uh, that it was not just down to driving. It wasn't just down to you as a driver. It wasn't just down to you or your engineer. It was down to every single person that was part of the team. Whether it's the people designing the car, the people putting the car together, the engineers, me, you know, everybody has to trust each other. You know, the fact that he trusted everybody, um, you know, gave everybody that responsibility, uh, I think is definitely still seen today in, in every team, not just ours, but uh, it's definitely a, a very core value here at McLaren. Senna once said that you have to drive on emotion and instinct. And I think if you want to be the best, that is the case. And yeah, normally when you're in that kind of state, good things happen. So um, try and get into that as much as possible. Watching old Senna laps, especially around Monaco, um, are, are very, very special to watch. It's always exciting. You know, whether it's just the way he was driving the car, whether it was some of the aggressive overtakes he was pulling off. There was never a dull moment when you were watching him. Nowadays, obviously, we have a lot of technology. It's a very different world of driving comparing to what we do now. You have a clutch, you have a H-pattern gearbox in order to drive what would be one-handed most of the time. So, yeah, they would be very, very cool to drive around, but uh, to race those week in, week out was, uh, yeah, they were a bit different back then. If I could ask Senna one question, I would probably ask him if he cared what other people thought. Because in one way I would say he did, but in another way with some of the things that he's done and the way he drove, there's no way you could care what people think. I think to be successful, you have to believe in yourself. I think Senna was a fantastic example of that. He was just the best version of himself and was never afraid to, to show that. Yeah, I think that's what you need to, to be successful and not stopping at, at anything to, uh, to be able to achieve that. Uh, I think also everything that he did off the track as well, you know, all the, the work he's done through his foundation and now that his family does through the foundation uh, is you know, inspirational for everybody and I think his legacy on the track, of course, is, is incredibly well remembered, but I think his legacy off the track is just as important for, for everybody. Um, and, you know, was one of the first people to use his platform in, in motorsport for, for good outside of F1. I think the fact that Senna was already very naturally talented, but willing to work with the data and understand the car and how he could make it better. If people left the track at you know, six o'clock, he stayed till seven and did always that extra bit of work. He always kind of did one more step of, of everything and knew what it took to be a champion. I think for me, Senna's legacy is the most famous legacy in, in motorsport. I think, you know, for me, I was born uh, seven years after he passed away and you know, I know a lot about him. I know, you know just how special he was and you know, everyone after me as well knows that. It's obviously been 30 years now and I feel like his legacy is just as strong as ever. And I think in 50 years, 100 years, I think it'll still be the same. And there's not many people in the world that you can say that about, and especially in the, in the world of motorsport. Uh, simply one of the all-time greats.